Hey, how's it going guys? JK here. Today's video, we're going to look at thoroughbreds in RDR2. Right, let's dive in. We're going to cover statistics, where to get, coats, under fire and how they react with wild animals. Right, let's check out the dapple grey and blood bay stats. Speed 4, max at 7. Acceleration 3, max at 5. Health 3 and stamina 3. Both health and stamina will double up with full level bonding. The common dapple grey and blood bay thoroughbred cannot be purchased at any stables in RDR2. Prospective thoroughbred owners will be able to grab themselves one of these for free because they spawn in wild herds from chapter 2. They are not a common spawn in RDR2 so be prepared to check back regularly until you get one. Alternatively, set up a camp in the area while scouting the herds for your thoroughbred. In this clip, I am just left of Armadillo in New Austin, where I'm looking for herds to get myself a Blood Bay thoroughbred. And of course I've got a couple of bounty hunters on my tail, I mean who hasn't? So we'll have some fun along the way, shoot up a couple of guys, hopefully not die. And uh, yeah, I'll go scouting for herds. Now as I come around um, the next hill or two, as you'll see, I spot some turkeys. And uh, I shoot myself one of them. And in the distance is a uh, dark horse sitting in the bush, in the grass. Right there. And uh, I just, I'm not sure if it's a thoroughbred, so we'll check it out with the binoculars and uh, study it with the right button. I've got an Xbox One. Just so that it'll name the horse and we can identify it for sure. Yes, it is a thoroughbred. And it is dark, so I'm sure it's the uh, Blood Bay. So the chase is on. This is always wow, exciting, wow. to me anyhow. And I love the scenery. I never get bored of uh, th this beautiful scenery in RDR2. Right, let's catch this guy. There you go. That's a girl. Okay, got him. Yep. Not sure if we'll uh, we'll get him in one go or in one ride. <laughs> I love the guttural noises. No, the program throws us off regardless. That's what I found. It usually happens uh, lately. Um, even though I use the stick to try and stay on, the left stick. Right, we're on again. Second time lucky, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Settle up. Guys, that was quite a good day's work. A few moments later. Then if you're not up to breaking a thoroughbred in the uh, plains or in the countryside, you can get yourself one uh, from a bounty hunter or a lawman. Thoroughbreds do spawn quite often, particularly um, in, uh, in black water area. So um, yeah. Once you've uh, shot everyone to pieces, you can go and basically just go and take yourself a horse. The dappled grey coat is a colour of horse characterised by progressive silvering of the coloured hairs of the coat. Most grey horses have black skin and dark eyes. Their adult hair coat is white, dappled, or white intermingled with hairs of other colors. White hairs begin to appear at or shortly after birth and become progressively lighter as the horse ages. Gray can occur at different rates, very quickly on one horse and very slowly on another. Bay horses range in color from a light copper red to a rich 
Red Blood Bay. The Blood Bay is the best known variety of bay horse. The dark brown shades of bay are referred to in other languages by words meaning black and tan. Right, let's look at the brindle statistics. Speed 4 max at 7, acceleration 3 max at 5, health 3, stamina 3. Both the health and stamina will double up when level 4 bonding is achieved. Right, you can get the brindle thoroughbred at the strawberry stables after chapter 3. This horse will cost you $450. The seal brown thoroughbred is a unique horse given to players for free when they reach the epilogue. My apologies for not having video footage of this horse as when I reached the epilogue I went on to use Rachel as my main horse and unfortunately she died in gun battle. So do take better care of your Rachel than I did as this horse is one of a kind, similar to Buell and the Raven Black Shire. As I found out her coat is not purchasable anywhere and does not spawn again in RDR2. The next two horses are only available as DLC. Let's take a look. The Reverse Dapple Black Thoroughbred is available in the Special Edition and Ultimate Edition of RDR2. This beautiful steed is available for free in Valentine from Chapter 2. Unlike the Seal Brown, should your Dapple Black die, you'll be able to purchase him again for free. Take note that any bonding you achieved with your previous horse will now be reset. The Black Chestnut is only available in the Ultimate Edition of RDR2 Online. You can acquire this horse for free when stables become available to you. Whilst speed is important in combat, thoroughbreds don't make the best gun battle partners in the game. Their dangerously low health stats will distract your focus when you need it most in the blood and guts of a battle. Fully bonding with your thoroughbred will help offset their poor health stats to give you and your steed a fighting chance on the battlefield. Short of this, a wise option might be to engage the enemy on foot or from afar using your rifle to reduce the odds of your thoroughbred dying and dropping you when you need him most. Get up there. A few moments later. With the battlefield crossed off your list of ideal situations for your thoroughbred, you may feel he'd be better suited as a hunting partner. Fact is, you'd be very wrong. Thoroughbreds are very skittish and timid around anything with sharp teeth and will buck you off at the sound of danger, never mind the sight. Just like in the battlefield, your best bet is to dismount and hunt on foot and use him just for fast transport and have a second steed for hunting and battle. Seriously reconsider using your thoroughbred for hunting any predators unless you're a marksman of note and can guarantee a one-shot kill of your prey every time. Your thoroughbred won't think twice of dropping you in the hot seat time and time again when it comes to anything that bites. Thoroughbreds come with race handling, making them far more agile than other breeds. Their high sensitivity to button inputs offers a super smooth ride. A big advantage when pursued by enemies, but also high potential for accidents. The thoroughbreds are a great option for players who have a need for speed and don't mind getting bugs in their teeth 
as they fly across the plains. Keep in mind to take the time and fully bond with your thoroughbred to limit fatalities due to their low health pool. Once you work around their weaknesses and get used to the race handling, a thoroughbred will match most other end game breeds. Great, now just sit back and relax. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, crush the like button. If you learned hard. something new, punch subscribe and beat that notification bell into a pulp. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers for now.